hurricane season has been quiet this year. However, when I do a Google and search to see what's going on across the United States and the world, there are threats from tropical depressions to tropical storms. So what exactly does that mean and how could it impact us as far as hurricanes this year? So before a storm reaches a tropical cyclone or hurricane status, it can go through several phases of development. And awareness of these terms and their meaning is an essential part of your preparedness and response timeline, enabling you to protect yourself, your family, your community, and your property during a disaster. To stay informed, I personally use the FEMA app, which provides real-time weather and emergency alerts, and it does a lot more than that. But I want to focus on the key words that I often see in the alerts that this app presents me and then what that means exactly. So, for example, when storms are posing a tropical cyclone risk, they are categorized into several key stages based on the risk each stage poses. These include a tropical disturbance, which is the initial stage of a storm and is defined as a cluster of thunderstorms that form over warm tropical waters. These storms are loosely organized and may show some rotation, but they lack a defined center or strong winds. You might not even hear about these, or you might get some type of notice in an app, but more often than not, these are something that you just don't know is even going on. If the tropical disturbance becomes more organized and develops a defined center of low pressure, it's then classified as a tropical depression. In this phase, sustained wind speeds are less than 39 miles per hour, and at this point, the system begins to exhibit more structure, but it remains relatively weak. You might feel this, and it might be like you're getting a little bit of rain, a little bit of wind, but nothing, nothing that, that major. When the sustained winds, however, reach a speed between 39 and 73 miles per hour, the system is upgraded to a tropical storm. It's at this stage that the storm is given a name and the system becomes more organized with a well-defined circulation and can start to bring heavy rains and strong winds to the affected area. This is a stage that you need to be paying attention to and monitoring to see if it's going to advance into the tropical cyclone or hurricane area. So once these sustained winds advance to and exceed 74 miles per hour, the storm is classified as a hurricane or a tropical cyclone. Once we hit that hurricane, we also have to worry about that storm surge, which can occur also. Hurricanes are further categorized into five levels from a category one to a category five, but we're not gonna cover that right now. We're basically gonna talk about these terms. And as these conditions change, the FEMA app, which is the app I use, or similar apps will update you on your risks and often what action should be taken. As a bottom line, once the storm reaches that tropical storm status, you should review your emergency action plan and when appropriate, take action. Mitigation begins by understanding these risks, preparing appropriately and taking timely action. Staying informed and understanding terminology is a good start in this process. So I pose to you, are you prepared? Do you have an early warning app and an emergency action plan in place? And if not, perhaps it's time for you to download that app and create an action plan for yourself. The FEMA app is available for both Android and Apple and can be downloaded on Google Play and on the Apple App Store. I strongly encourage you to consider the FEMA app and downloading it onto your system and setting it up so that it can give you warnings of different types of storms that might occur in your area. You can further develop an emergency action plan by going to JGD Prepared Service Disaster Readiness for Medical Professionals course or the free Disaster Readiness and Survival 101 course where there is a section on emergency readiness plans and how to develop them. Take the time to have an app that's gonna warn you and make sure you have an emergency action plan in place and your survivability will be increased significantly.